If you've been on the internet at all in the past month, you've probably run across the song called The Wellerman. <laughs> That's what I'm going to show you how to play today, and I'm even going to give away something to play it on, so stick around. Quick caveat to this, the videos that I've found of this song are all played in C minor, which may be a perfectly fine key for C shanties. I'm not really a C shanty expert, so I have no idea, but it's not a great whistle key. So in order to play in C minor, there's a couple of ways you can go. What I'm gonna do today is play it on a B flat whistle. I'm gonna play it in E minor fingering, which would be starting here, this being E minor or the key or the note E on a D whistle. You could also play it on an F whistle and you'd be playing it in A minor fingering. That would work too. This one just seemed to work and I like the sound of this whistle. If all you have is a D whistle, there's a couple of options. You can either pitch shift whatever you're playing to, you know, download the track from someplace, pitch shift it in something like Audacity, which is a free app, or you can pitch shift your own track in whatever direction you need to in order to make it match up. If you want to play along with one of those tracks online or just learn it just for the heck of it, that's fine too. At the end of the video, I am giving away this Clark whistle. This is some sort of fancy edition of the Clark, uh, 100th anniversary, 50th anniversary, something like that. Um, as far as I can tell, the only difference is this shiny little brass guy that's on here and the fact that it costs like an extra 15 bucks. But I'm giving it away because I never play it. If you watch my video comparing this one to the Clark Sweet Tone, I kind of break down the reasons why. But in that video, I got a lot of feedback on from folks who said they really liked it. So I may as well give this away to somebody who's actually going to play it. So stick around to the end of that if you want to get down on this giveaway. In the meantime, I'm going to play this tune on the B-flat whistle again in C minor. Uh, and then I'll break it down on the regular D whistle, just so you can kind of follow along. That's how I'd run it. I'm gonna play it on the D whistle, just because I assume that's what most folks have. Not everybody's got a good B flat to play. Um, so we're gonna switch it up right now and break down the basic melody. Like I mentioned before, we are treating this as if it's an E minor, because that's your E on a D whistle. So that's what it's gonna to translate to now when we switch whistles. So here's the basic melody for the A part. This first section will do that. second half here. Kind of a repeat, at least the first bit is. Do that again. Hopefully you notice it's fairly simple. It's just sort of an arpeggio in the E minor chord and then walking back down the scale. And the B part jumps up to the second octave E. Do that section again. It's just a little bit tricky with the notes that bounce back around that octave. Just keep an eye on that. Just like the A part, the second half of the B part, beginning of the second half of the B part, is a repeat. And then it just walks down the scale just like the A part did. I'll run that bit again just so you get it. You probably noticed I did a fair bit of tonguing on that, particularly where that one note sits on the B. With ornaments, we can mix it up a little bit. So back to the A part. Basic melody is a refresher. 
just an arpeggio. I usually start with a bit of a um, tap, I guess. You can do a slide there. Couple of slides, couple of taps. So, nice and quick on that tap, and then sliding from the A to the B. If you want to get more fancy, you could chuck in a couple of rolls, short rolls in this case, particularly on that B, or on the E minor, just or the E to start. That's another nice quick one. It's got to be fairly quick because you don't have a ton of time. And then doing that same sort of tap that I would do on the higher E. And then a tap to finish. The end of that A part is just a walk down. Short roll there. Couple of things there. I'm sliding from the A to the B and then throwing in a cut as I land on that B. It's doing that sort of crossing noise on the G. And then again on the E to finish it up. B part, again, we've got that, I mentioned before, we've got that B that we're sitting on for a bit, so. That's how I would start it. So I'm doing a slide off from D to E which is really how we started the A part too, just an octave lower. And then a short roll. When I land on that B, going from a C natural to the D, I just said B, I meant D. And as I go from C natural to D, it's kind of a cool trick just to pop this top finger off here, the F sharp finger. has just sort of an inherent natural popping sound that I think sounds pretty cool. And then the short roll on the B. Tonguing that C to the A. Short roll there. So the same slide I would do from D to E. And then the short roll on the B. Same sort of walk down, but we are sitting on that B for a minute. Really, I'm just doing a couple of rolls there. And the same slidey grace note kind of thing, coming from, or going to the G and then going to the E. And then you can finish it with that sort of short roll on the end of it, where they do the big huh! kind of sound. So that's the tune, it's short and sweet. Let's talk giveaway. To get in on this thing, all you gotta do is subscribe, if you're not already. Give me the thumbs up, give me the like on the video. And in the comments down below, let me know what was the first tune you learned. If you can remember that far, if that was yesterday, cool, let me know what that was. If it was 20 years ago, let me know what it was. I'm curious what everybody's first tune was. Mine was a tune called Rollin' in the Rye Grass. It was either that or Silver Spear. I can't actually remember which one I learned first. I'm starting a whole new beginner series. Based on feedback that I got, I want to do a whole series of lessons from day one, first picking up the whistle all the way through the first few tunes that you might work on in order. So keep an eye out for that. And I want to know what everybody's first tune was, because I think it might be kind of a cool way to, to build up some more lessons and, and more useful lessons for beginners. So you do that, and then about two weeks from now, I'll post the exact date. I'm going to do a drawing. I'm doing that for two reasons. One, the two week thing is just to give everybody a chance to get in on it. And two, because like two days ago, I got the Rona. So I'm not going anywhere for two weeks. I'm stuck in my house. I will disinfect the crap out of this thing before I send it. I actually have not played this thing since I made that video over the summer. So it's just been sitting in a jar. May as well send it to somebody's good home. So that's what we're gonna do. Take care y'all. I will see y'all in the next one. Cheers guys.